Ever met someone you like and immediately found yourself daydreaming about them and making up scenarios in your head? Whether or not you're actually together hardly matters to you because you're living in a daydream where everything around you fades away and it's just the two of you against the world. It sounds romantic, right? But what if that dream isn't quite what it seems? Sometimes what we think is love might actually be something else entirely. We talked about trauma bonds in the past, but what about fantasy bonds? A fantasy bond is when you engage in a dreamy illusion of a relationship rather than a real connection with someone. To quote Jules from Euphoria, I fall in love so easily, it's almost embarrassing. Half of every relationship I've ever had is in my head. So how can you tell if you're caught in the web of a fantasy bond rather than experiencing genuine love? Let's dive in. You fall in love with potential, not people. Are you a hopeless romantic who can easily fall in love with strangers? Ever found yourself falling head over heels for someone's potential rather than who they truly are? It's easy to get caught up in imagining the person they could become rather than accepting them for who they are in the present. But ask yourself, how well do you actually know this person? In a fantasy bond, it's common to idealize your partner and project your own fantasies onto them. But true love involves accepting your partner for who they are rather than trying to mold them into your idealized image. You ignore red flags. Do you put your crush or your partner on a pedestal thinking they're flawless and perfect in every way? It's natural to admire and appreciate your significant other. But when you start seeing them through rose-colored glasses all the time, it could be a sign of a fantasy bond. For example, you find yourself making excuses for their behavior, even when it's clearly not okay. You might overlook red flags because you're so focused on the idea of them being your perfect match. Real love involves accepting each other's flaws and imperfections, not pretending they don't exist. To use them to escape reality. Do you find yourself constantly running to your crush or partner whenever something goes wrong in your life? Do you turn to them to distract you from it instead of dealing with your problems head on? Yes, seeking comfort and support from someone you love is natural, but relying solely on them to escape from reality is a definite sign of a fantasy bond, not true love. In a fantasy bond, you cling to the relationship for stability and avoid dealing with negative emotions by seeking refuge in romantic intensity and the euphoria of being in love. You avoid conflict at all costs. Conflict is a natural part of any relationship, but in a fantasy bond, it's often avoided at all costs. There aren't any difficult conversations or disagreements because they would disrupt the fantasy of a perfect romance. So instead of being honest and open with one another when something's wrong, you tiptoe around the issue, sweep it under the rug, and just pretend everything's okay. But healthy relationships thrive on honest and constructive communication. Rather than avoiding conflict out of fear or discomfort, it's a chance to strengthen your relationship and build a stronger foundation of trust and understanding. There's no emotional intimacy. Okay. Let's get real for a minute. When was the last time you had a heartfelt conversation with this person? If it's been a good long while, or maybe even never, it might be because there's no emotional intimacy in your relationship. Fantasy bonds are often formed more through infatuation and physical attraction. So superficial gestures and surface level interactions tend to replace meaningful emotional connection. Instead of allowing yourself to be vulnerable and authentic, you may retreat into a fantasy world where emotions are kept at arm's length. It's like you're going through the motions of a relationship without truly connecting on a deeper level. There's no sacrifice or compromise. Healthy relationships require sacrifice and compromise on the part of both parties. But in a fantasy bond, there's often a lack of willingness to make sacrifices or compromises for the sake of the relationship. So ask yourself honestly, are you open to making compromises to strengthen your relationship? Or are you only concerned about getting what you want? When was the last time one of you sacrificed something to accommodate the other? 
You've lost yourself in love. Have you noticed a shift in your independence since diving into this relationship or situation? Maybe you used to have hobbies, passions, and a life of your own, but now it feels like your world revolves entirely around your person of interest. It's easy to get swept up in the fantasy of being together, but losing your sense of independence is a telltale sign that something might be amiss. A superficial relationship. Do you ever feel like your connection with your partner or crush is only skin deep? Perhaps your relationship is built on surface level qualities like looks, status, or material possessions rather than deeper emotional bonds. While these superficial aspects can initially draw you in, they often leave you longing for a deeper connection that goes beyond the surface. You feel an empty happiness. Imagine your relationship as a plant. Just as it needs water, sunlight, and space to thrive, a healthy relationship requires growth and genuine connection. But in a fantasy bond, it's more about comfort and stability than mutual growth. You might look at your relationship from the outside and see smiles and laughter, but deep down, there's a sense of emptiness. It's like you're living in a beautiful fantasy world, but inside you know something is missing. You might realize that you and your partner aren't really connecting. It's like watering a plastic plant. No matter how much you pour into it, it won't grow. Sure, it's easy to get lost in the idea of love more than the real thing. Sometimes we create these illusions because we're afraid of being vulnerable or facing the truth about ourselves and our relationships. Fantasy bonds help us feel safe and secure by keeping ourselves at an emotional distance. So instead of embracing the messiness of real love, we cling to the fantasies for comfort, even if it means missing out on genuine connection. But by waking up from the fantasy and embracing vulnerability, we open doors to real intimacy, moving beyond illusions to find authentic love. Messy, yet beautiful. So what are your thoughts on this video? Did it help you understand the differences between being in love versus living in a fantasy? If you found this helpful, why not share it with your friends and help us reach more people? You can also click here to watch more videos on this topic, like how to get over someone you never dated or five stages of love. Most people stop at three. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment before you go. Thanks for watching.